everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I have um, my weekly fragrance empties and I have them sorted, which I usually don't. So we're just going to jump in um, first with the Scentsy. And I warmed through my Black Forest Pine. This was a scent of the month, uh, I think in 2022 it would have been. I think it was that January. It is really good, just um, like a sweeter, like a vanilla sugar almost, um, and pine scent. Uh, one of my favorites. It's not in my club, so I'm hoping that returns at some point, but I do have plenty of bars until then. Worked on the Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond, which is available currently in the Bring Back My Bar. This reminds me of... To, to me, it's it has a very waxy scent, but it does remind me of like grape. Um, not a repurchase for me at all. A breakfast in bed. Uh, this is no longer available and not in my club, but would definitely be a repurchase if this ever comes back. This is like a almost like that morning breakfast. Um, that you would do in the fall. It's got like, I don't have the scent notes, but it just reminds me of like, you know, like waffles, pancakes, like maple syrup, just a nice fall breakfast. And um, it's a really good performer. This did really well. I actually only used one cube instead of two cubes like I normally do. And it was fantastic. Violet's Turning Violet. Uh, from the Willy Wonka collection. Uh, this is available. This was the one that I liked the least on cold sniff, but I do really like it on warm. It's like a, I think like blueberry and violets. It's supposed to be kind of like this candy, but, um, and if you mix it with vanilla bean buttercream, it's an amazing like bakery type scent. So I'm um, definitely a repurchase for me. I finished up um, Crazy Coconut, which is in this current round of Bring Back My Bar. And I do like this. It's um, it's just a fun kind of coconut type scent. I actually warmed this mostly in my son's room um, because he's kind of particular with his scents. And um, I thought it did well in there. It is kind of like, to me, like a kid-oriented type scent. Christmas cottage wreath um, from the Sentspirations. It was a Christmas cottage um, kind of mix-up that they did. Honestly, I don't like this one. I think this was supposed to be mixed with maybe eucalyptus wreath from the current catalog, but um, I honestly, the only one that I like besides, because I do like Christmas cottage, was the cider Christmas Cottage Cider, the other ones I wasn't a fan of. I'm wondering what they're going to do if they're going to do a spring summer one. Um, I think uh, Patricia gets, um, she had mentioned maybe Cocoa Lime. That would be fantastic. This one is in my club, Tahitian Twilight. It is, it's kind of similar to if you've sniffed the Plum and White Woods. It's and then it's got a pineapple twist with it. Um, so it's like you took a pineapple scent with the Plum and White Woods and um, it's fantastic. It's not available any longer. It was the scent of the month, I believe for July, but it is in my club because I do like it. And then Love and Happiness. This was a former Bring Back My Bar in my club, um, I, but I don't have very many of these, maybe like one and a half. Um, so I did try to, um, I've kind of been playing around with, do I would really need two cubes with Scentsy Wax or do I just need one cube? Especially with the one cube of the breakfast in bed did really well. And I have to say on some scents, I do need the two just to get that strength that I like. And then on some, I think one would be okay. Uh, this one, I like I said, I just did one. And I think two is actually what I need to do for love and happiness. But um, that one I wish I could pick up more of since I only have 
so many. And here's another Christmas cottage wreath. My Wish, um, which is from this round of Bring Back My Bars. Or, I'm sorry, it was in the last round. I was like, that doesn't sound right. But I know it was a Bring Back My Bar. Um, this one I do really like. It's a lighter scent for me. It's got like marshmallow and fig. And if it was stronger, it's something I would repurchase. But, um, but overall, lovely scent. Apple and cinnamon sticks. Um, so this one actually I really like, and I'm going to club it this round. But it is kind of like that, to me, your traditional scent that you think of when you're going into fall. It is, it's like um, cinnamon sticks with no sugar. So just straight up cinnamon sticks and apple. Like that traditional fall potpourri that you remember back in like the 80s and 90s. Um, and it's a good performer. Apple and cinnamon sticks. All right, a couple of cotton balls here. I did run out of my um, cotton cleanups. And so I have um, these cotton balls. I actually got these from DJ's, which is, which is like a wholesale club, like a Costco or a Sam's. But, um, and you get like four of those packs. It's like seven, seven dollars and some change. So they actually don't work too bad. Um, they are a little bit bigger than some of the sizes in the store. So I'm probably going to repurchase some of those. But I did pick up a few more packs in my last party closeout. And I was debating whether I want to keep going with cotton cleanups and then as soon as I purchased those from my party, um, since he announced that they're going to actually discontinue this current size that's in the catalog, and I think it might even be sold out now, I haven't double checked, but um, they're bringing out a smaller size March 1st with the new spring summer catalog. And it's supposed to be a smaller size of cotton cleanup, a lower price point. And um, it's supposed to be able to fit like in many warmers and more more warmer sizes. So um, I might actually purchase some of those and go back and forth between the cotton or the cotton balls. I haven't decided yet. So excited to kind of see those come out. And then the other thing that is a spoiler alert, you might have heard this on some other channels. But, um, and it's part of the promotion they're doing this month for, uh, to join Scentsy. You get, um, dry, they're coming out with dryer sheets. So they did away with the Scent Soft in the laundry line, which was the liquid, like, fabric softener. And, um, yeah. So I'm excited to get those, um, dryer sheets. Excited for that. Um, on a other side note with that, I am going to World Tour which is uh, February 10th here in Indianapolis, close to my house. Um, so if you're going, uh, comment below if you're going to World Tour for one, but two, if you're going to Indianapolis, definitely comment below um, and try to seek me out or whatever. And I'd like to meet you in person. But um, going on along with that, you get um, some free products. So I'm super excited. This is my first like, since the like convention or world tour that I've been to and I'm hoping hoping that we get like those dryer sheets um and our like freebies so we'll see let's go through the bricks so I had cut bricks up and put them in these mylar bags um so I worked on my arctic kiss and also blueberry cheesecake and then I uh, worked on the maraschino sugar cookie which was in last year's holiday bricks. These have gotten like super juicy, but I can say that the strength and throw on this maraschino sugar cookie, it's amazing this year. So um, I don't know, I think I either have one more, one more brick or this is it. Um, so I'm hoping it'll come back at some point since I did not club it. And then um, Christmas Cottage, which was available, still available in the catalog. This was um, 
part of the three bricks that they released in the catalog. Um, all gone, but um, I do really enjoy this scent and it's perfect for Christmas. Definitely would repurchase this like next fall and winter season to have throughout the season. And then I worked on my sweet orange pomander brick. Um, this is one too that I wish I had clubbed, but um, I do have a whole nother brick. And I use what, half, half, right? Um, so I have six warmers in my open area. So I literally get one, two, four, four warms from one whole brick. Um, so I at least have um, the whole brick and then that, so five more warms to get through. Super strong performer. It's um, it's not really like sweet at all. It's more spicy, like a spicy orange, but it's really good. I worked on these. These are the roasted coke. Sorry, cocoa roasted chestnuts. These two candles. They. I have to say the burn on this is really weird. It's one of those ones that it goes really well till about halfway down and then you have to kind of like baby it along to get through the rest because it just doesn't take off and um, burn like the rest of it. Uh, but I did pick up more of those because in the semi-annual sale they had those for like under seven dollars. They had those um, peppermint Peppermint hot cocoa, I think is the one. Maybe it's peppermint. Yeah, it's peppermint hot cocoa. And then, um, what was the other one that I got? I think, oh, peppermint. I think it was like peppermint twist. I got three of them. And they were all under $7 each. So, really good deal on candles. I am putting those up for next fall or winter. I um, finished up my counter clean and make a splash. I'm hoping the scent returns in the spring summer. It's just like a nice, like aquatic, like melon type scent. And it's super strong. This was really enjoyable in the counter clean as well. Harvest pomegranate. So this is a mini candle. Um, I have several of these mini ones to use in my bathroom. But I actually might switch, I was thinking about this when I finish up the mini candles, if I want to switch maybe to a tea light, because I picked up a Walmart brand, so it was like five bucks for this tea light warmer. I've never really used them, because I always thought, what's the point if you're going to do a wax warmer that plugs in and you still want to do the candles, and then you still use a tea light. The only thing that I don't like about the tea light warmers, so... I'll tell you what I do love here in a minute, but the tea light warmer, and I think maybe I need to buy more expensive or a different brand of tea light candles because they go out like maybe two hours in. And if you're not paying attention, then you have to switch it out and your wax keeps like hardening. And then it, it gets super hot though. But I have to say, I tried the tea light in my open and I know I can't just have one tea light warmer in the whole open just to see if I could get a stronger throw kind of in an area and smell it. And it wasn't, didn't do well, but I stuck it in my, um, I have like a small hallway area that's like a small room. And the way the plug, there's like one plug in that room. And so you can only do like a um, mini warmer plugged in because of where it's at. There's no table or anything in front of it. But I do have a bookcase and I thought, okay, let's try this candle, tea light candle there. And it is fantastic. Like, it scents the whole hall area. And then I can smell it flowing into the open area. So it's really weird where it's at. Um, so I do enjoy that. So I was thinking, once I get through these mini candles, I might actually either purchase another one. Because like I said, I think it was like five bucks. Or um, just move it into the bathroom because I'm wondering if it'll throw really well in the bathroom. I'm going to test that theory. But going back to this mini candle harvest pomegranate, this is 
fantastic. I love this in the three wicks too. It's one that um, the scent throw is amazing. It's kind of like, let me see if I have the scent notes on this. It's, I know it's got like apple, rich pomegranate, freshly picked apples, sweet black plums. It's fantastic. Um, one of my all time favorites. All right, and now here's the vendor wax. Um, so I worked on a Rose Girl's Grandma Got Run Over by a Chain Shop. This was like a purple. Um, so they had like a Mario pre-order and they were these big like snowflakes. I've chopped them though. This one was a uh, blackberry jam, butter cookies, cotton candy frosting, and waffle cone. This was really good. That was nice, yeah. And then a uh, bippity boppity birdo, which is jelly donut, vanilla, strawberry noel, raspberry sauce, and waffle cone. And that raspberry sauce was really nice. It's like a raspberry jelly donut. Yeah, you get the jelly donut the waffle cone. And then apple cart, which is a lot just like a caramel apple type scent. It's apple fritter, cider lane, and ooey gooey caramel. That did really well. I enjoyed that. I always love a good caramel apple scent. And then this one was a fantastic throw, Banshee Boardwalk. So this was s'mores, salty sea air, marshmallow, and sea salt, which is basically beach, the Beach Nights blend. Fantastic. I love a good Beach Nights blend from Wonder, Fender Wax. It, and it throws so well in my home. Doesn't matter what vendor I go with, with that scent. I worked on I think that's it for rose girls claire from pharmacist daughter and this was like um i know it was like a mint like a peppermint but i don't know what else was mixed in that it was a sample very strong peppermint but it was nice and then um i worked on the big hair big dreams from pharmacist daughter now i did get this in october and I don't think it's cured long enough, so I'm gonna have to let it sit. I chopped all of my little like bunt pans and all the different shapes just so I could grab it and start melting. It's pink sugar driftwood salt water princess. And it's really pretty, but it's just it was super light. And I even used like my Julianne home warmers and it I didn't think I got the strong enough throw for it. So I think I'm gonna let it sit maybe a couple more months and see if it gets stronger. And Sassy Girl Aroma, which I think is my favorite vendor, is Huckleberry Beach. So it's basically like the Beach Nights type with Huckleberry. And Huckleberry is like a blueberry, it's kind of like a blueberry, blackberry kind of mix, um, but really good. Love that. I love all the Beach Nights blends. And then um, a Daughter's First Love. This one I don't like. And it, I have to say, it is super strong. And it is, um, it's basically vanilla oud. It's smoky oud, sweet resin, rich and creamy sandalwood. And I thought maybe the sandalwood would kind of mix with that oud, but... If you like Scentsy's Vanilla Oud, you would love this. I had to mix something with it. What did I mix with it? Uh, the... I don't even have it. I thought I had the clam, but I don't. Um, it's the one that came... I can, like, picture it, but I can't even tell you what it... It was one of the leather scents that was in the collection. I'm like, the warmer was like the cow's like skull, like skull head kind of thing. But anyways, um, and it 
helped it quite a bit, but I have quite a bit to get through um, for a while. So not a repurchase for me there. And then um, I finished the last of my Tiffany's Beach, uh, which is my all time favorite um, beach nights blend because um, it mixes cupcake at Tiffany's with um, the beach nights. Fantastic. Um, I did order more of these on a pre-order. So hopefully, um, I don't know, it's probably going to be a while before I can warm again because I'll have to let it like cure a bit and then um, I can use it. So, but it'll be fine with more coming in. And then um, I had two samples of wild berry chamomile and I ended up with two because my sister ordered me some perfume for Christmas and we kind of ordered at the same time. So I got um, a sample and then she got the sample with the order and put it in my stocking and um, it was really nice. It was kind of like a definitely the wild berry and then you kind of got that like you could tell it's like a tea kind of note. So um, it was really strong though. It's something that I would warm. I don't know that I would necessarily purchase it, but it had good scent throw. And then last but not least, I finished a Bath and Body Works room spray in pumpkin apple. And then I do have another spoiler alert with room sprays. Um, I heard through the grapevine that Scentsy is changing the formula of the room sprays and it's not gonna it, I think it's not gonna be oil based any longer um, so it'll get rid of that like slick residue the which is one thing I don't like about our room sprays so I'm excited for that um, I'm curious to know um, how like what those will be like so that'll be exciting I think that's coming with the March catalog as well so thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know again if you are going to World Tour and if you are coming to Indianapolis. I'm looking forward to it so much. I'm going to definitely share what I find out with you guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.